Okay, I'm going to make a bass patch now, uh, the kind of bass patch that you might hear in a UK garage production. Uh, what I'm going to do is put, use a single oscillator for this patch. Starting with the init patch, I'm going to turn the oscillator balance towards oscillator 1 and make oscillator 1 a square wave like this. Okay, we're actually surprisingly close to the kind of sound I want already. If I just sweep the filter, you can hear that that's the kind of movement you hear in those, in those patches. Um, what I'm going to do is use the filter envelope to sweep that for me. So I'm going to turn envelope amount all the way up. I'm also going to, at this point, I'm going to choose a different kind of filter. I'm going to use the analog four pole filter. saturation that's embedded within this filter is very natural and gives it a really authentic character. So now the other problem I have here is that the shape of the sound isn't quite right and that's actually because I'm using the, the positive filter envelope polarity and so I'm going to change them to negative now and within the filter edit menu just put both filter 1 and filter 2 to negative and now I can play some nice little tricks now just by changing the attack setting in the filter envelope. Here as I turn it up. Also I think at this point I'm going to turn the pitch of the oscillator down by a couple of octaves so I can play bass lines with my right hand. I also need to make it monophonic for it to play properly. So within the single edit menu, I'm going to choose mono four in the key mode. Maybe use a little bit of portamento. Turn up the resonance a little bit. And we're pretty much where I want it to be now. If I turn up the resonance quite high, use the saturation to soften it a little. If you want quite a piercing resonance, you can turn the saturation down. And just you can get all kinds of effects just by changing the value of the filter attack. It's that kind of raw sound to a, one with a lot more movement in it. And there you go.